Hey, I am back today because I just discovered that after sitting in a virtual meeting for 90 minutes and then sitting a little bit more with um, my computer and just doing some emails and things like that. Sorry, my, my camera keeps sliding. Um, I just, my groin is sore, my back is sore. And yesterday I came on and I showed you like how I could loosen that up and make it feel better right before I went to work. Hi Kristen, thanks for tuning in. And today I'm gonna to show you how I do it from home because I'm working from home today. I was on a virtual meeting. I went to get up just like that. I'm like, oh, that groin pain kind of came back. So I have been battling this for a few months and it hit, went away and then I changed my workout program and that kind of messed me up a little bit. So anyway, I thought I would just kind of walk you through what I'm gonna do because I'm going to do that total mo motion release technique again on myself to help me feel a little bit better so that I can get in and out of the car and even just get up out of the chair. So if you don't know me, uh, my name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt. I am a doctor of physical therapy a certified athletic trainer and a fitness nutrition specialist. And I'm just gonna screen my body just like I did yesterday uh, to see what is yucky and to see what's yummy. So what feels good, what doesn't feel so good. So I'm gonna take a look at my arms. That all feels good. Take a look at my back. See, it's not as sharp as yesterday, but I still feel like a little spot right about maybe an inch below my shoulder blade. I don't, I don't like that so much. So I can go there to the right, and then, yeah, I can go all the way there to the left. So that's, yeah, that's restricted. That doesn't feel as good. It's still kind of a low issue, um, but it's definitely different than my other side. And then I'm gonna take a look at my hips to see if my hips can influence my back pain too. So I'm just gonna bring my hip up and that's actually fine. Yesterday when I did this, I was standing, so let me retest that position. And yeah, see, that's the one I don't like so much. When I'm standing and I have to go like above 90. So if I go above, this is 90 degrees. And on this side, above 90, um, again, it's just like tweet. So I'm gonna take the yummy movements and fix the yucky movement. So I don't like to go right as much as I like to go left. So yesterday it was the same thing. It may be different on another day, but I'm just gonna go two sets of eight because that worked for me yesterday. This is five, six, seven, eight, and we'll go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna retest. So I'll go to the right. Oh, that feels pretty good. That's better. Is it the same? I feel like I can still go farther on the left. Yeah, I still feel a little bit tight. So there's actually rules in total motion release. And rule number one is if the movement you just did made your yucky movement feel better, then you do the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna do the same thing and do another two sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do that again, second set. Three, I think that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna retest again. Oh, that feels pretty good. I, can, I think I can go all the way now. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Let me just recheck the groin and see if that's better. So on the right, I can go up to kind of the letters on my shirt. And then on the left, I'm just getting there. And you know what? I feel it right here. That thing has been driving me nuts for a while. And it comes and goes. So like I think it's fixed and then I do something like I did getting out of the chair. Um, after my virtual meeting and all I did was pivot like that and now I don't even feel it when I do that But I still feel it on that other test so I can go up again I get my you can see my knees go up to the letters on my shirt and on this side like 
I don't want to go any further than that. So guess what? I'm going to use that yummy side to see if it fixes the yucky side. It worked yesterday, so I'm going to try it again. So I'm going to do two sets of eight. I'll probably get out of breath because it kind of gets your heart rate going. I think that was eight. Take a little break and do a second set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to see, hi Penny, thanks for joining in. <laughs> Penny says, I, yeah, Penny says you rock. <laughs> thanks Penny, you rock too, you're amazing. All right, oh boy, I can actually lift that up to the letters. I still feel that a little bit right there, but my range of motion is definitely better. So I'm going to try that again. So rule number one says I do the same thing again. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a little pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll be honest, I just did four sets of eight. So that's 32 reps. I'm getting a little tired on this side. Let's see about this side. That's better, okay? So I still feel just a little bit there. It's definitely still a little different to, from this side to this side, but this side was getting tired. And in total motion release, if one side is getting tired, that's rule number two. And it says to kind of tweak it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that up and I'm gonna tweak it. I'm not gonna do as many reps and I'm gonna hold that time. So I'm just gonna hold this up here for 10 seconds. I can actually hear a clock next to me. I'm in my basement. This is where I work out in the morning. That's probably about 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna do a second set and I'm gonna hold 10 seconds. Now, if your balance wasn't very good, you could still do this, but you could do it seated instead of standing. All right, now I'm gonna retest this. That's actually better. I can actually get my knee up to my, the letters on my shirt. And again, I feel just a twinge difference. I don't feel anything on this side. So what is rule number one again? Rule number one says if your score got better on the previous exercise, you do the same exact thing. So I'm back to rule number one, and I'm gonna do two sets of 10 seconds. So I'm just waiting here, 10 seconds. I think that was 10. And do another 10 seconds. Hi, Diane, thanks for watching. I'm trying to take, get rid of my back and my groin pain. All I did was stand up. It's crazy how the body works sometimes when it gets kind of stiff and aching. All right, so let me go ahead and retest. And that actually feels pretty good. So for those of you who are on earlier, like this side can go up to the letters on my shirt, and this side was up to about here, and now I can bring it up to the letters on my shirt. I'm gonna check my back again and see how that feels. Actually, that made my back feel much looser. And then let me see this side. Hey, that feels better than before, actually. <laughs> so sometimes I, am, I surprise myself with this. Um, so now I'm just gonna take a look at my groin again. See, yep, that feels pretty good. I definitely have the same range of motion. So because I've, I continue to have some back symptoms, um, so for those of you who don't know, like I was, I had a roller coaster injury in 2004 where I had like whiplash, I had a concussion, and I also had what they call sacroiliac joint dysfunction, which means I had some um, leg symptoms like sciatic pain shooting down my leg and some back issues. I was in four months of therapy. I did physical therapy. I did massage therapy. I did chiropractic. And so on occasion, if I'm not careful and I don't work out, my back pain likes to sneak up on me. I have to stay mobile or I'll just kind of like lock up and get really stuck and stiff. So because I know that about myself, I'm pretty active. I work out about three to five days a week 
and sometimes it's more intense, sometimes it's pretty low key, but I have to keep moving. So sitting in a chair, like I did this past weekend at a virtual conference for two straight days, and then sitting today on my uh, Zoom call with uh, a virtual meeting, that does not work. I'm used to being active and moving around during the day. So I need to like just check myself again. So I'm just gonna go this way, that feels pretty good, this way with my back, and then I'm gonna go kind of back and rotate to the one side, and then back and rotate to the other side. Those actually feel great, so I don't need to do anything. So just this motion, this motion, this motion, and this motion are now the same. And just in a few minutes, like I said yesterday, just in a few minutes, I was able to make my back and my groin feel better. I hope that helps anybody out there who's kind of concerned about some aches and pains. It's actually not very difficult to get those to calm down. Feel free to go through those screening movements. The four that I like to use is I look at my arm like this. I look at my back. I look at my back. I actually do another one by lifting my leg, which I didn't do in this video, like that. I like to do those three specifically. And then there's a fourth one that I sometimes will do where, let me change the angle of the camera a little bit. I'll stand and do like a single leg squat with my other heel tapping the floor. And that's not a problem for me today either. So let me move that back a bit. Okay, sorry, I'm not at my office because I'm at my home office, so I don't have my cool camera stand or phone stand. Um, but because this just happened when I got up, I wanted to come and kind of show you a follow-up of what you can do if this happens to you at home. So I hope that's been helpful. If you have questions about any of this, I am certainly available. Just go ahead and private message me or click in the feed, Me Too. If you click Me Too, I'll definitely reach out to you. I know some people um, reached out to me yesterday with that. Hi, Lynn. Thanks for joining in. So just in these few minutes, I just want to recap. These four minutes, I was able to use three of the six total motion release steps and actually fix myself with my back pain and my groin pain. So I showed you the three that I did today with the arm raise, with the rotation, and then sometimes I'll do this leg raise or I'll do the hip. See, all of those are good right now. I'm so happy right now. Uh, thanks for tuning in, Denise. So yeah, so if you're having any symptoms and you wanna try and fix yourself with, with some of the things that I just showed you, go ahead and hit me too. If you have questions about anything, private message me. Or if you hit me too, I'll probably reach out to you as well. Definitely, definitely don't suffer in pain. Um, it it's, can really be helpful to be able to do some things at home to take away some of your soreness. Hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot.